हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल टीके पी हब ऑलवेज देर इज ए क्वेश्चन आरजेस अमंग द स्टूडेंट दैट मैथमेटिक्स इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट चैप्टर और सब्जेक्ट बट आई थिंक इट इज रॉन्ग एंड दे थिंक दैट इट कैन बी सॉल्व बाय इंटेलिजेंट स्टूडेंट no it is wrong mathematics is that type of subject anyone can do it just by understanding the fundamental of a chapter so that they can easily solve the exercise and everything just think it is very very easy topic okay so let's think for the best and education is a tool helps us to get success okay <clears throat> so education is a success achievement tool education improves our knowledge and skill of the people so that people can share their knowledge among themselves education bring feeling of similarity among people so education is very very important and mathematics among them is a important topic so let's start today i am going to discuss about the topic is pair of linear equation in two variable that is chapter 3 of class 10 okay so first from the definition or from the chapter name we have to understand that to pair of linear equation in two variable first is linear equation linear equation means when the degree of an algebraic equation is 1 then it is known as linear equation means the degree of equation degree of algebraic ex- expression or degree of polynomial is 1 then it is known as linear equation so example is 3x plus 2 the degree of equation is 1 so it is known as linear but our question or our chapter name tells us that pair of linear equation in two variable so here is only one variable when we take two variable it becomes let 3x plus 2y becomes two variable okay so two variable linear equation pair of means we take two equation okay but the standard form of uh, the standard form of uh, linear equation in two variable is the standard form of uh, linear equation in two variable is ax plus by plus c equals to 0 okay this is the standard form of a linear equation in two variable everybody know that a is the co a is the coefficient of x and b is the coefficient of y and c is the constant so the solution of this expression that is the value of x and y is lies on a lies on a line that is the solution of these equation or these equ- uh, these equations are a point on the line okay that is each solution xy of a linear equation in two variables ax plus by plus c represents a point on the line so our demand is or our chapter name is pair of linear equation so pair of a linear equation r the standard form is ax plus by plus c so we have to take two equation so for the two equations we just change the coefficients means for first equation there is a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equals to 0 
and for second equation a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0 okay this is for first this is for second so these two equation known as pair of linear equation okay these these equations always draw a line this is the equation for a line okay so the two equations can intersect or can be parallel or can overlap each other okay these are the three conditions that the two equation can stay okay intersecting or parallel and coincidence okay so when we represent this graphically or how we can get a algebraic expression from our problem and how can we represent on graph let's solve a word problem question the question is Romila went to stationary shop and purchased two pencil and three eraser for nine rupees okay her friends Sonali saw the new variety of pencil and eraser with Romila and she also bought four pencil and six eraser of same kind of 18 rupees represent this situation algebraically and both graphically so we don't know how the cost of each pencil and each eraser so we have to take let the cost of let the cost of each pencil be rupees x and cost of its eraser be rupees y okay so this romila shop and purchase two pencil and three eraser for race rupees race nine rupees two pencil and three erasers of nine rupees so two pencil the cost of pencil one pencil is x then the two cost of two pencil is two into x then and means plus three eraser the cost of each eraser is y and three eraser is three y equals to nine this is the first equation then for sonali four pencil and six eraser for 18 rupees four pencil and six eraser are of 18 rupees so equation becomes 4x plus 6y equal to 18 that is equation 2 so we express this situation as algebraically but graphically how we solve so for the graphical representation we have to get the solution of these two equation so the solution of two equation the solution are for first equation we draw a table minimum how many points are required to draw a line everyone knows that I think minimum two points are required to draw a line this is for second equation okay x y so this is for equation first and this is for equation second so equation first equation we have to put here uh, once x equal to 0 if we put x equal to 0 2 into 0 it is 0 3 y equals 9 y equals 9 by 3 which is 3 when x equal to 0 y equal to 3 then we put y equal to 0 for second solution when we put y equal to 0 it vanishes and 2x equal 9 x equal to 4.5 4.5 is difficult to represent on graph so we put we check another number 
when you put one as place of y, three into one is a three, three goes to that side, nine minus three is a six, and x equal to six by two j three. So y equal to when y equal to one, x equal to three. Okay, just I show you when y equal to one. 2 into x plus 3 into 1 equal to 9 2x equal to 9 minus 3 then 2x equal to 6 x equal to 6 by 2 equal to 3 this is the drop okay you can't do here you just solve outside and just put this table 1 3 this is for first equation for second equation when you put x equal to 0 it vanishes 6 by equal to 18 y equal to 18 by 6 is 3 x equal to 0 y equal to 3 then when we put y equal to 0 4 x equal to 18 x equal to 18 by 4 this is the uh, fraction so we check another number when y equal to 1 then it is 6 18 minus 6 is 12 so 4 x equal to 12 x equal to 12 by 4 that is 3 when y equal to 1 x equal to 3 okay we get the two solution and when you represent on graph let this is a graph this is a graph this is x axis and this is y axis this is origin so this is one two three four and here is also one two three four so the first For the first point is 0 3 when x equal 0 y equal 3 x equal 0 means y axis y equal to 3 this is 0 3 and next is when 3 x equal 3 x equal 3 y equal to 1 y equal to 1 means this point you understand very easily on the graph paper okay so this is 3 1 always remember we have to write first x coordinate then y coordinate okay we join the line this is for first equation okay you can write here the first equation then second equation 0 3 0 3 3 1 this is the same solution look so on that line the second second equation also lies okay so this is the these are the condition of a coincident okay we just represent on graphically and also algebraically understood from the pair of from the pair of linear equation into variable um, we before saw that uh, they can intersect they can parallel they also a uh, coincident so what are the conditions behind it how we can uh, know that the two by two equations are belonging belonging to which category by just seeing just watching the equation we can say that so the condition is first condition is intersecting intersecting means the line intersect like that at one point the condition is a1 by a2 not equals to b1 and b2 okay a1 is the coefficient of a first coefficient of x of first equation and a2 is the coefficient of x in second equation okay b1 is the coefficient of y in first equation b2 is the coefficient of y in second equation so this is the intersecting condition we find if this condition is satisfied the equation is intersecting okay example we can take example 3x plus 5y plus 2 equals to 0 4x plus 6y minus 3 equals to 0 a1 is 3 a2 is 4 b1 is 5 b2 is 6 so these are not equal so these two equations are intersecting then second is coincident coincident means one line lies on another line okay so the condition is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 so the graphical is this is the first equation 
line then above that another line is line so what is the equation we will for just solve equation example is 2x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 we just multiply a any number so if you multiply 2 it becomes 4x 6y plus 4 equals to 0 just look a1 by 2 means 2 by 4 b1 by 2 means 3 by 6 c1 by c2 means 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 these three are equal okay this is the coincident and third is parallel the condition is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 okay not equal c1 by c2 parallel means the graphical representation is here in like that the two line can't touch each other at any distance or at any moment there is a fixed distance between them so there is no intersecting or no touch so the example is 2x plus 3y plus 5 equals to 0 4x plus 6y minus 6 equal to 0 okay b1 by 2 b1 by 2 becomes equal 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 3 by 6 that is also 1 by 2 and this is minus 5 by 6 which is not equal to so this is the parallel condition okay then these three condition you have to remember a1 by 2 not equal b1 by 2 this is for intersecting and the three equals are for coincident and last is not equal for parallel okay then there is another so another is consistent and which is inconsistent consistent means if there is a solution if we get a solution we can solve the equation then it is known as consistent the examples are intersecting lines and coincident lines when there is a intersecting lines it means this is a solution for both equations okay so it indicates that intersecting has only one solution okay then coincident coincidence means one line lies on another line this is there are many points are common for both equations that is infinite points okay here is one point and this is infinite point so solution is infinite infinitely many solution okay so this is parallel there is no common point so this is no solution okay so consistent means intersecting and coincident lines gives the solution so this is consistent and inconsistent means there is no solution that is parallel condition okay understand thanks for watching like and share and subscribe the channel for a new notification press the bell icon okay thank you